Millions of people around the world believe that Mary, the mother of Jesus, is the woman of Revelation chapter 12. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. Revelation chapter 12 verse 1. Welcome to our channel where we interpret symbols in the book of Daniel and Revelation. Kindly please subscribe and like this video so that you don't miss out whenever we post a new video. Right. In this video, we are going to raise a number of issues concerning the view that the woman in Revelation 12 is Mary, the mother of Jesus. Then we will look into how the book of Revelation and other texts in scripture interprets this woman. These are the issues of concern between the woman of Revelation and Mary, the mother of Jesus. The woman appeared in heaven. Mary was never in heaven. The woman was clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. Mary lived in a poor village of Nazareth, never had the appearance of a queen. The woman was with child in heaven. Mary was with child here on earth. In the case of the woman, a red dragon tried to destroy the male child as soon as he was born. In the case of Mary, there was no physical dragon. It was Herod who tried to kill Jesus. The woman fled into the wilderness where she hid for 1,260 days. Joseph, Mary, and Jesus fled to Egypt, not into the wilderness. The woman fled into the wilderness after the male child was taken to heaven. Joseph, Mary, and Jesus fled to Egypt before Jesus ascended to heaven. The woman fled into the wilderness alone. Mary went to Egypt with Joseph and Jesus. Revelation 19 verse 7 identifies this woman as the wife of the lamb. Mary was the mother, not the wife of Jesus. So, if the woman in Revelation 12 is not Mary, who is she? Revelation 19, 7 to 9. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him. For the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife has made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. The woman in Revelation 12 is called the Lamb's wife, interpreted as the saints. This is supported by many other verses in the Bible. Isaiah 54 verse 5 For thy maker is thine husband, the Lord of hosts is his name, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the God of the whole earth, shall he be called. Jeremiah 3, verse 20. Surely as a wife treacherously departed from her husband, so have you dealt treacherously with me, O house of Israel, says the Lord. Jeremiah 31, verse 32. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break. Although I was in a husband unto them, says the Lord. Ephesians chapter 5, 23 to 27. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the words. 
that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. God used the symbol of sun, moon, and stars in Joseph's dream to represent the household of Israel. And he dreamed yet another dream, and told it his brethren, and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more. And behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obeisance to me. And he told it to his father and to his brethren. And his father rebuked him and said unto him, What is this dream that thou hast dreamed? Shall I and thy mother and thy brethren indeed come to bow down ourselves to thee, to the earth? Genesis 37, 9 to 10. In Revelation chapter 12, the number 12 in 12 stars is the number for the people of God or the church. This includes multiples of 12. For example, 12 tribes of Israel, 12 apostles, 144,000 of all tribes of the children of Israel. So, the woman in Revelation 12 is a symbol for the people of God or the church in all ages. It is through the church that Jesus came to our world in the form of humanity in order to save the world. And through the church, his righteousness is revealed. I hope this video has been of benefit to you. Thank you for watching. For any questions or comments, post in the comment section or email us. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and share.